Oh, stop right there! Oh. Take your head off your gun! Get out of the way! Go we'll back up, put it down! Hands off of me now! You guys don't have time to check rooms. You gotta get that shooter! I'm gonna die! Drop the weapon! This is oh, my nephew scene. right here! You know what? Your mama is a bitch. Switch. They going on our head of day, yeah. Have you ever wondered how you might react if you're a police officer in some of the situations that they face day to day? Well, wonder no more because we're gonna find that out today on Switched. This is where civilians take on the shoes of police officers and have to make those critical decisions when life is on the line. Let's go. Scenario is this, um, you get dispatched to a parking lot in reference to a guy that has a, a machete and he's threatening people in the area. You're the first one on scene and that's all you got. That's the only information you have right now. They do, I'm telling you now, they're, they're saying that there's civilians on the other side of this house. And uh, scenario's beginning. Stop! Don't move, don't move. Hey, oh. stop right there. Oh. Take your hand off your gun. Oh. Take your hand off your gun. Help. Do you want to see him die? Help. Do you want to see him die? Take your hand off your gun. Help. Take Help. back up. Back Put the up. machete back, down. Back Put up. the machete down. Back up, man. Help. Put the machete down. Back up. He's gonna kill me. Back up, man. Do you think I'm playing? Back up. Put the machete down. Why are you following me? Why are you following me? Put the machete down. Back up. Stop walking He's towards me. Kill me. Stop walking towards me. Stop talking to him. Stop walking towards me. Back up. I'm gonna kill him, man. Hey, we have to take a quick time out. If you don't mind, would you guys head over to our Locals channel, which you can find down below in the description section. What we're going to have over at Locals is all the behind the scenes footage related to Switch there. All the exclusive access, the live interaction between you and I, where you can actually give me recommendations for future episodes to come. And so we're trying to grow this thing Switch to another level. And also, by the way, when you by you guys doing that, it helps support me and my family, which I love. If you guys have followed me for some time, I got a wife and three beautiful kids at home. That being said, let's get back to the episode. Scenario beginning! Hey, buddy. Hey, hold on! Don't move. Don't move. Don't move. Hey, stop. Hold on, hold on, stop hold on. right there. Help. Stop right there. Right. Help. Don't move. Help. Don't move. Take your hand Help. off your gun. Help. Take your hand off your gun. Help. You want to see him die? No, no, we're good. Hey, just you relax, see him relax, die. relax. Help. Relax, all right? Back up. All right, hold on. What's going on, man? I need you to chill out for a second. Back what's going up. on? Don't worry about what's going on. He's going to kill talking. me. What's you going on, man? He's going to kill me. I'm backed up. I'm backed up. It's all right. I just want to know what's going on. We just try to chill Don't out a little bit. Don't worry about what's going on. All right. Okay? You I need to talk to you in the first place. All right, but I'm just here now. So what's up, man? What's going on? I need some help trying to figure out the situation. What's going how on? How are you going to help me? I don't know. You tell me what I can do for you and I'll do how that. Are we, no, how are you going to help me? You just said you're going to help me. How are you going to help me? I want to help you by not getting you further in trouble with the law right now. Relax. You I don't even know what you're hurt. trying to tell me right now. I don't want nobody getting hurt, man. That's all I'm saying. Take your hand off your gun. He's going to kill me. All right. No, no. We're good. We're good. Look. You want to talk about something? Just back up from him. Maybe put that down a little bit or no? I'm not backing up from him. Come on, man. He's not listening. He's I'm not backing kill. up from him. All right. Well, what, 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 what could I do for you? Why were you chasing me? Why were you running? Why were you chasing me? I in saw the first the, place? I saw a knife. I got called on a call right now. I'm trying to figure out what's going on, and you started booking it with a knife in your hand. I ain't even hurt anybody. I know. You, I Is didn't it say you don't have a knife. I didn't say that. I ain't got no knives. I got nothing. I'm just standing here trying to figure out what's going on. He's gonna kill me. He's gonna kill me. He, he, he's going Bro, to kill me. Bro, you better figure me. out to do something, man. All right, man, look, I need you to put it down. Like, for real, put it down, or we're gonna have somebody out here, and we're, you know, things can get ugly. I need you to relax a little bit. Try to put that down. Yeah, listen, I don't wanna hurt this guy, shoot, man. He's gonna, he, he, shoot him. Come he's on, man. He's gonna kill me. Stop talking, man. Look, what do you think about just passing that to me, and then we'll just discuss this from here on out? You want me to hand you the knife? Yeah, hand you me the knife. Hand you this knife right here? Put it down, yeah. Nope. Scenario is live. Don't move, man. Don't move. Don't oh, move. Hey, stop right there. Stop right. Get your hand off your gun. 
Get your hand off your gun. Stop walking towards me. Oh. Stop walking towards me. Turn around. Hey, Lee. I can't do that, my man. Lee. Lee. I can't do that. Lee, do you want to see him die? He's going to kill me. He Just might. Say, stop hey. talking to him. Stop talking to him. My man, what's the problem? You the problem. What's the problem? You. You don't got nothing to say to me? No, I don't. Talk, you fine. talk to me. Oh. You hey, talk to hey, me. Hey, hey, hey. Talk to me. What I got to talk to you about? I don't know. What are you doing? Get you your hand off your gun. You have a machete to a man's neck. And get you, your, get you your hand off your gun. Are you willing to die? Get your hand off your gun. Are you willing to die? I'm not arguing with you, man. I'm going to kill him. He's I'm going to kill, kill him. me. Why would you want to kill this man? I'm going to kill him, man. Why would you want to kill this man? Because you're bothering me right now. Why? I wouldn't even be over here if it wasn't for you. And he's going to do kill that, me. Don't do that. Don't do that. Shoot him. Because I'm going to have to kill you. Please. Papa. Bro, first and foremost, where'd you learn how to shoot like that? I know a few people that know some people, you know. <laughs> I could have swore I saw you can't the gun like that. <laughs> but man, no. I mean, awesome job, bro. You literally just saved the life of that hostage right there. How did it feel from the start? Take me back to the start of it, man. I was like, oh shit, here we go on foot running. So it's like you're running, you don't know what you're gonna run into. I might fall, I got all this gear on me, I gotta keep up. And then uh, when I saw the, the situation, I didn't know what to think. I was like, okay, hold on. Wait, you got a machete around my man's neck? All I could do was just try to figure out how to not have him slice him up before I could get to my, my gun. So that's why when he was like, back up, back up, and I, I undid the safety, just so I had like a quick draw situation. And then as soon as he had a little opening, I took it. How would that make you feel as an officer if he killed him before you saved him? Like, would you replay that in your mind? Yeah, for sure. I would feel horrible. I mean, I should have acted. I should have did all these what shoulda, coulda, wouldas and stuff. But what yeah, do you think would have been the shoulda, coulda, woulda in this situation, knowing that he died? If I could replay it again, I would have shot him right off the bat. That's what I probably, I probably should have did. Shot him right off the bat. But at the same time, though, I'm not no marksman. I don't want to shoot the guy that's, that I'm trying to save either. So the only reason why I did, because he was like, that's it. I was like, all right. He's gonna die anyways. If I'm gonna try to yeah. save him one, you know, that was my only option, so. What was the initial hesitation of not going to that as soon as you saw this situation? Well, learning from the prior one right now, I think, you know, de-escalating has to be part of, <laughs> <laughs> of the process, so that's essential. I don't like give that. a fuck what you say. Back up! I'm not backing back up. up. You back up now? This is a, hey, come this here. guy keeps come touching come people. Here. Get the fuck over there now. So for me, trying to talk him out of it was the first, was the first step, and then after that, I think, uh, he didn't give me no. He didn't give me no options. I mean, that is a great point. So think about it. We train de-escalation, 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 but it doesn't mean that we can just go all in on de-escalation because there may be times where you can't work. de-escalate. He's, he's not ready to de-escalate. He's ready to, to. He's that. He looked like he was ready to kill somebody, but he did. You know. So think about how difficult that could be from going back and forth. Like, man, okay, like, is this a de-escalation or is this not a de-escalation? And that's and having to make that decision. How how fast do you have to make that decision? On you're on on the spot. I mean, it's. That's the scary part because on top of that, if you make the wrong choice, not only are you ruining people's lives in your own, but you going to jail too. So, I mean, there, there's a lot on the line and that's probably one of the hardest judgments I think the cops have to face is on the spot thinking like that. Is there anything that you would have done different in this scenario? I don't know. I can't, I can't say it. I don't know. Um, because you're damned if you do, you're damned if you don't. You know, uh, I pull my weapon and I, I put him down, uh, I'll get the same. The, the, the same response from the public. They're going to try to crucify me for shooting first when not talking to him. You well, know, so, so I thought, let me talk to him. At least I can try to get a, get a beat on where he's, where he's at. He didn't say very much. It went, it went a lot faster than I thought, so. I want to know though, what were you aiming at anatomy wise? And did you use your sights? I didn't use my sights, but what I wanted to make sure I did when I did shoot was just go left of the, um, the hostage and then get like in this area. So if I did, if I did happen to hit the hostage, at least he wouldn't be dead. He, it would like flesh wound him, but then hit you at some point. Suspect, what'd you feel like? Uh, might have been a little rough on you because I was like, if deadly force isn't met with deadly force off top, I was gonna penalize you for it. So that's why I was like, take your hand off your gun. Like since it's not out, I'm not gonna give you a chance to get it out. But I was just trying to, you know, play with your mind a little bit because I knew you, I knew you were thinking you had to get it out, but I was trying to give you no time to do so. Okay. And that's a scary thing because now it's like... And I did listen to him too, you know, and I don't know if that was the right thing when he said, don't put your hand. And I'm like, all right, look, I don't want him to go any further. But at the same time though, if he's telling me don't, I'm this much further from saving the guy's life. And 
it's a judgment call. It's horrible. And everybody's going to critique it. It's horrible. Because some that's people are going to be like, well, how come you pulled out his gun? He told you not to. And that's yeah. what killed him. And then others are going to say, how come you just didn't take how the shot as soon as you got shot. there? Exactly. So as crazy and out as outlandish as these scenarios may be, this situation really happened. The deputy, however, came around that corner and the moment he saw the hostage situation, he waited for the post perfect moment and he dropped the suspect. Now, that is a precision shot. It's a very dangerous shot. But if he was, if you're confident in doing it, then shoot, you, our job was to save lives. But imagine he missed. I know. And, that's, and imagine the scrutiny if he would have hit the, exactly. the victim. That's so good. it's a, it's a thing that we have to train. But can we always say it's gonna happen like that? Can't always say it's gonna happen like that. Switch. They going our head a day, yeah.